Welcome back to my channel, MTN Possibilities. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. For those who are familiar with my videos, you remember the last time I was showing you a video about Stay Africa, one of what I call the hidden gems here in Bulawayo. I know most of you probably don't know that there is a place like this. Uh, this is where we were doing our workshop. It's called the Sand Deck. I want to sh just show you. It's called the Sand Deck. You can see here with the African... Uh, the African sun, sun, sunset, we see the beauty of this African. So sen, as in koi sen, this one is the sen deck. So this is where we were having our workshop. I also just want to show you the other picture from this side. And um, it's also showing the African sunset from a different angle. You can see how beautiful it is. So come along and I will show you where we were having our workshop. It's a, in, it's a place where you can actually have an outdoor and it's close to the canvas and down here it was just glass. This is the beautiful place where we were having our workshop. So this is the setting with the African, uh, because we are talking about culture, uh, the African culture, creativity, the arts. I think this was the ideal place for this. As you can see, the creativity here, the, this pot, this African pot made, of, made out of wood. It's just here for decoration. The last time I was here, there were some clothes here with some African print, but today they are not there. But it's still beautiful because it resonates with the, Af the, the theme so far. A workshop that we were having about culture, African culture, and everything. So, this is some of the decoration here. As you can see, a kinship of joy and happiness. That's what they are saying. And I like the way they put these tiles. From afar, you would think that these are just tiles, because here, yeah, indeed, they are tiles, wooden tiles, laminate tiles, but here it's uh, some sort of leather, is kumba, that's the proper word. You see, maybe I don't know what you call it, cowhide. So they use different types of cow, cowhides with different shades to make uh, some tiles. It was sewn through to make some tiles, and it's really beautiful with the, the touch of Africa. And uh, here we have the map of Africa also done in cowhide. Can you see that? All the countries in Africa, we've got Zimbabwe, we've got Zambia, we've got all the beautiful African countries, but they are put there in different types of cowhides. You can see how beautiful our cows can be. And you know, when you are in Matebele and, and um, uh, Bulawa and the surrounding areas, you really resonate with the cows because this is more of a, a cow ranching. Um, a place, you know, this uh, region here, it's all about cows. And even the sofas, it's made of leather, you know, leather is from the cows. And also the cushions, they are made from cow hides. Look how beautiful it is, these beautiful sofas. Let me just have a, a, a time to relax and enjoy this beautiful place with the cow hides for a cushion. It's so beautiful. And this other side also, you see different types of... Uh, a cow eyes there that are also have been made into some tiles. I really like this type of creativity because it really resonates with the African African culture or African touch. A heritage of cordiality. It's so true. You know, those people who have been to other countries and been to Africa, you would all agree that here in Africa we have the practice of being polite, warm and really very friendly, especially here in Zimbabwe, Bulawa in particular. And these are some of the things that they have as the artifacts that they also are uh, displaying. This is this shows, let me go back to this one again. Uh, this is a bow and arrow in the shield. So like I said, the theme is Khoisen. If you know history, the Khoisen used to be hunter gatherers. They would collect their they would collect fruits and hunt animals, wild animals, to, for their food. So this man here is equipped with all his uh, arrows here. 
in the bow and the small shield to protect himself from the danger. But uh, the way he is, well, this other one, let me come to this other one. And I don't know what, this, what story these guys are saying, these guys are telling us. Because this one now is carrying their bows, their arrows from behind. And the bow is here. But he's holding his head. I don't know, guys, tell me what's the story. Did you find anything? He looks sad and tired. But anyway, he will tell us his story one day. <laughs> so this is the place what that they call the sand deck. Uh, it's a very lovely place, as you can see. It's so very beautiful. And this is the outside place to the poolside. You can come here and just relax by the poolside. And um, if you want to have functions here, maybe with family and friends, you can come this side sit by the poolside, enjoy your, 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 your lunch here. And this is where you can do your braai. This one, this place here, you can come and have your braai. It's very beautiful, very clean. You have got a sink over there where you can actually do everything here. And there's another sink here where you can have your meat, you cut your meat. And the lawn, guys, it's so beautiful, this place. Those who knew it from back then, this is another sink where you can actually do your braai things on. Maybe you, also your plates here. You can wash them. You can wash your hands here, everything. And then there's another deck this side. This is another sitting area where people can come in and have their lunch here with family and friends, some function. Though this one is a bit smaller compared to that one, but it's still a beautiful place. I'm not seeing the theme for this one. But it's so beautiful. And those who are having conferences, you can see there are PowerPoints everywhere. So you won't have any problems with power. And this place here is a saving place where you can come and get your food from. After a conference, you come here and you get your conference lunch. Or maybe you've got your braai over there. You can save uh, some other food this side. That side you are having braai and this side you just enjoy with family with other f statues you can get them from this side it's really a beautiful place and at night you can see there are a lot of lights and they lay light up in different colors and it's really beautiful so now i come along and i will show you the other side i will show you the same deck but now there is also what they call the koi the koi deck but before we go to the koi deck so this is the place where we're having our lunch uh look at this picture here those who grew up in zimbabwe rural zimbabwe can can relate to this um kemeswane but this it seems this the botswana koi same theme you can see these are the koi same people and uh this is the lunch they would generally have and this is uh, a fire so beautiful uh, maybe at night they can gather here but this is where we were having our lunch this is where we had our lunch after which some people came and sat over here you can come and sit here and have lunch after the, at the conference this is where some people were seated but others also decided to go to the koi deck let me go and show you the koi deck. Remember, we say the koi sen, but this one now is the koi deck. So this is where we were having uh, some of our lunch. You see the pictures there of the koi sen. This is what was, was called the koi deck. We come here uh, and yet we came here and did our lunch here. This is where we're having our lunch, and uh, it's very beautiful. The colors. They're very, they're very bright and you know, it's summertime, they just have those summer vibes and it was nice. And if you don't want to sit here, these tables, you can come and actually be here by the sofas, but uh, because we were not so many, we had no people were sitting here, but there's a possibility for you to come and sit here and actually have your lunch here at the, at the sofas by the sofas, beautiful sofas, leather, everything is so beautiful here. So yeah, this was um, one of uh, the 
beautiful setup that we had today. And we still keep seeing the pictures of the, the artifacts of the koi and there is another one by that side. The hunter gatherer is still here. This time, let's see what he's saying. Has he finally gotten something? He has taken the end out of uh, from his head. He's no longer stressed. Seems like he's now planning for a way to, you know, catch the animals. So this was the koi deck. Look at these lights. At night, I hear they light up and they're so bright and beautiful. So this is some um, one of the places. So thank you so much for watching. Today I just said I wanted to show you the koi same deck side by side. It's got this a similar theme, but this one is more colorful and people can come here and just have fun and sit and eat. The other side we were actually having a conference there, a meeting, a workshop. So that's how versatile these places are. Uh, and they, the last time I was here again, we were at what, what they call the EH Hub. Uh, that's where that's another conference setting and it's very beautiful uh, it's it's actually air conditioned i'll show you how it looks like in the future in another video but uh, i think you have seen snippets of it in some of my videos before no so thank you so much for joining me see you in the next video so you can actually come and rest here by the poolside it's so beautiful um and the sun is it's not so hot anymore now and she can swim today i didn't come in my swimwear but at least i am dressed in a way that allows me to be by the pool side and feel the chill the, the, the cool air it's so beautiful here guys if you ever you have any functions and you want to enjoy with family and friends consider this place it's really beautiful um i liked it i liked it though i came here for a short time I still consider coming here for more time and enjoy the beauty of this place more.